Dopamine agonists should no longer be used in restless leg syndrome due to the perhaps inevitable risk of augmentation. If that weren't bad enough, what is the second worst side effect of dopamine agonists? It's impulse control disorders. I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and I wanted to touch on impulse control disorders as a side effect of dopamine agonists. Dopamine agonists include the brand names Mirapex, Requip, Rotigotine Patch, also known as their generic forms, which is Pramipexol, Ropinerol, and Rotigotine. Now, these medications um, initially may help with restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome is thought to be caused by low iron levels or poor iron metabolism in the brain, which disrupts the dopamine system, and the dopamine system is involved in those restless sensations that people get in their legs, the urge to move the legs. Well, the dopamine system doesn't work quite well, and these dopamine agonists temporarily fix the problem. But over time, it has been shown that these medications will completely screw up the dopamine system, and hence augmentation where the condition starts to get worse and worse. Dopamine, however, is not just involved in sensations and movements. It's involved in reinforcement of rewards and pleasure. So, for example, when a kid eats candy, they get a rush of sugar into the brain, and this lights up the dopamine system. Somebody goes to the casino and hits all sevens on the slot machine, the dopamine system gets lit up. Unfortunately, with long-term use of dopamine agonists, impulse control problems can start to accumulate when they otherwise would never have occurred. What are impulse control disorders? Well, think of it as substance use, like addiction to alcohol or recreational drugs. It could be compulsive shopping. It could be excessive gambling, pornography, or even punding. Punding is like uh, my kids who put together and take apart their Legos constantly for no apparent reason other than their own entertainment. It doesn't even have to be a harmful behavior, but a person can't stop doing it or is doing it excessively. These tend to develop at high rates with the use of dopamine agonists. In fact, reports to the FDA of impulse control disorders include a list of multiple dopamine agonists all at the top of the list of causing this side effect. The conditions uh, which enable impulse control disorders tend to be worse with higher doses and more long-term use of dopamine agonists. And in restless leg syndrome, it tends to track with uh, the severity of augmentation. So people with augmentation are, are at much higher risk of impulse control disorders. Fortunately, the studies have shown that most of these impulse control behaviors are reversed with elimination of the dopamine agonist medication. And so, and, and the opposite is also true is that if you don't have an impulse control disorder now, it can later develop with time if you were to stay on the medication. So this is one of the main reasons why one should consider if being treated with a dopamine agonist that an alternative treatment for restless leg syndrome needs to be considered in the future and people who are on dopamine agonists should be monitored for development of impulse control disorders. As always, this video is for general medical information only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine and all medical decisions should be made with a licensed medical professional. And as I sometimes like to say, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.